For the serious beer drinker, this is the ultimate paradise. And rightly so, because nearly 40% of the world's breweries are here in Germany. And the good news is they're not that hard to find, because in Bavaria alone, there are nearly 700 of them, including one here in this little town called Arvensburg. This is the 17th oldest brewery in the world, dating back to 1300. And although some of the equipment has been updated, they still use traditional techniques. Now I need to go and find the Braumeister, or the, the master brewer. Mr. Selek is the owner of the brewery here, and uh, which generation are you now in the family? Because uh, it's been in the family for, for many, many years. For the eighth generation. The eighth generation now? Since 1684. But the brewery itself has been here longer? At 1300. Yes. Uh, what a wonderful history. Now, the, the methods you use here are still traditional. What, what is the process of brewing beer? What happens? We are bringing here the malt. The malt comes here from the farmers around. Yes. From the hops? Or and the hops, we have here the Hallertau, the greatest hops area in the world. It's the Hallertau. So the, the malt and uh, water is all mixed together in this big boiler. This is in effectively a, a big, big cooking kettle, yeah? Kettle, yeah. So, and you mentioned the hops. Uh, we've got some hot pellets down here. When it is beginning uh, boiling, we must do the hop inside. It's now the time, please. Okay, I'll, I'll put them in. Just before, I've never seen hop pellets. I mean, I didn't think that uh, hop pellets existed. I thought you just picked them off the, the plant and then threw them in. But why have you got hop pellets? Uh, we are taking the very uh, precious things from the hop outside. Right. And not the very good things, which have a very bitter uh, taste, sure. we took away. So this is pure quality hops. This is the best there is in the hop. Okay, <laughs> can I can throw this in? Lupolinum. All right, here we go then. So I'll just tip all that in. Look at the, the green color there. It looks pretty horrible, I must say. I don't think I'd like to drink any beer at this stage. So what happens after this? We, we put the hops in. It's going to boil and boil and boil now. The word, this is now the word. And it must cook one or two hours, yes. and it makes a uh, real good taste, and it's good for the converse conservation. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, pre it preserves. So there are no chemicals added. We have in Bavaria the purity law, which says uh, that we have only four things in beer is allowed to give inside water, hops, yeast, and malt. Nothing else. Nothing else. So it really is a completely natural drink. Natural drink. What happens next? When the cooking is finished, we are cooling the wort from 100 degrees cooking temperature to the temperature where we can give the yeast inside. Yes. And at the wheat beer, we give the yeast at 18 degrees Celsius. 18 degrees. 18 degrees. We are cooling yes. and giving it in the fermentation cellar. And then how long does it stay in the fermentation cellar? It needs about five, six days. Is that all? And then it comes uh, in the filling room and makes uh, the fermentation in the bottle again. Oh, I see, so it goes into the bottles. Even though it's still fermenting, it goes into the bottles so and continues to ferment. There are two fermentations in the fermentation room and in the bottles. And uh, how long does it stay in the bottle before we can drink it? When we have filled the bottle, it it needs four weeks for the bottle fermentation. So it's a pretty fast process. Uh, it doesn't take that long. No. It sounds really good. So okay. um, I think really the next stage is now to taste some of it. The moment has arrived when we can now experience the result of all that hard work. And uh, it looks magnificent in these bottles here. So could you pour some for me, please? Yes, I want to show you how we fill the beer in the glass because it's very complicated from the fermenting uh, in the bottle, it has a uh, high pressure. So the beer is actually still fermenting in the bottle, in the even bottle. just before we drink it? Four weeks it is fermenting in the bottle. All right, so can you show me please how to, how to pour this properly? We take it very slowly and make no foam, since we have the half in the glass. And then we take the foam. And then we make the yeast going around. It's very good for the good looking and for the health. 
That's what I've always wanted to hear, that beer is good for you. So don't let anybody convince you otherwise. Beer is good for you. And We've heard it officially. Take. So yeast inside. And now the yeast is coming here, you see. And we can see the yeast clouding up there in the top. It's clouding, yeah. And so that is full of goodness, and you've done that professionally. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to do the yes, same, but I'll, I'll try give it. it a go here. And the beer itself has had four weeks to ferment in the bottle, and I'm trying to pour it delicately down the side. And as we get to about three quarters, I can now tilt the bottle up like that. Maybe I should have done it a little later. No, that look, looking good. Okay. I'll stop there. Okay. There we go. And now comes the yeast. And I swirl that around, yeah. and in goes the yeast. Okay. Perfect. Now, um, the beer is uh, it's slightly cloudy because of the yeast. Let's now experience the taste, because this is wheat beer, as we know. Yes. And this is very different to, to other types of beer. It has so. a smell like flowers. Mm. And in Bavaria, we say before, frost. Frost. For your health. Right, and I notice you hit the bottom of the On glass. On the bottom, there. yeah. Okay, Prost, for your good Prost. health. And this is obviously good for your health. Mm. It is very, very nice indeed. It's, uh, you can really taste the flavour of the wheat and the yeast there. Is this beer available anywhere else in Germany? We are a small brewery. We are only 100 kilometres around here. Not all around the world. <laughs> so, so this really is a unique experience. It really is to be it's tasting this beer. It's a from the region here. Well, that's... Uh, that, that really is uh, a wonderful experience. And uh, of course, the sense of history here, because just behind us, we have what I believe is to be probably the oldest wheat beer poster in the world. This is a copy of that poster behind this us? This is a copy of the oldest wheat beer poster in the world. And you have the original back in the, in the brewery? I have the original, and we know no one which is older. <laughs> it's the oldest. This is just a wonderful experience. So let's, uh, another Prost, and again at the bottom of the glass. That's the bottom. Prost! Prost. <laughs>